Today is Friday, April 21st, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Katie Fung Bongsa. Here are today's top stories. SU's annual One University Awards are going right now, going on right now in Hendricks Chapel. The awards honor members of the university community who are making a difference through academics, scholarship, creative work, and dedicated service. Notable awards given out tonight include the Chancellor's Medal, Chancellor's Citation Student Athlete Award, and more. All members of the university community are encouraged to attend the event, along with the following reception in the Heroi Geology Laboratory. And the Asian Students in America and the AAPI Heritage Month Planning Committee are hosting Asia Night tonight. In the Shine Underground, they will showcase singing and dancing performances from the AAPI community. The event is expected to run from 7 to 10 tonight. Tickets cost $5 and all students are welcome to attend. SU's, SU's Muslim Student Association is celebrating Eid with multiple events. The holiday began yesterday evening and ends this weekend. A prayer service and brunch took place in Hendricks Chapel this morning and there will be an Eid barbecue tomorrow. Students are invited to attend the barbecue starting at 4 in the afternoon at the Muslim Student Life Center on East Genesee Street. And roads and sidewalks in Syracuse may be getting revamped. The City of Syracuse Department of Public Works proposed an $8.3 million budget that would cover 20 miles of roads and 12 miles of sidewalks. Roads that will be redone include South Avenue, Lodi Street, and Fayette Street. The city also worked with a small snow removal contractor to identify where most of the sidewalk repairs were needed. And you can ride more VO scooters on the new roads this summer. The city of Syracuse is teaming up with VO again to bring an additional 450 scooters to the city. VO also says they might increase the scooter amount to 1,000 in the coming months. People can use the vehicle by paying $1 to unlock it and then 31 cents per minute through the VO Ride app. And coming up, Governor Kathy Hochul announced a change in budget negotiations. Stay tuned to see what is no longer in discussion. Adventure can be found anywhere, but the best place to start is in the forest. I spy something beginning with S. Snow? No. Snow-covered trees? Nothing to do with snow. Head outside to discover incredible animals <laughs> and beautiful plants that come together to create an unforgettable adventure. Wow. So grab your loved ones. Don't even. And explore a world of possibilities. Come on, this way. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the closest forest or park to you. Welcome back to The Now. An Onondaga County Sheriff deputy has been arrested. Brian Lynch was charged with one count of criminal mischief in the fourth degree. He's being investigated for having inappropriate contact with a woman while on duty. Lynch is now suspended with, from the sheriff's office without pay for 30 days and is pending an internal investigation. And Governor Kathy Hochul's plan to boost affordable housing is off the table. Assembly Democrats were told that the plan will be put aside to break a budget impasse. Along with bill reform, the housing plan had been an issue holding up the New York State budget being approved. Hochul and state lawmakers are still able to negotiate a housing deal, but it must be done outside the budget process. The budget is now three weeks late and legislators don't believe there will be an agreement before next week. And I noticed it's just starting warm up outside and I'm wondering if these summer like temps are going to stay for this weekend and especially for Earth Day tomorrow. Our Citrus TV weather anchor Ronnie Perillo is in studio to tell us what we've got in store. Ronnie. Katie, thanks. Well, temperatures right now, extremely unseasonable for Syracuse. We are at 85 degrees. Now we saw this last week for six days in a row, but unfortunately our bout with this summer like heat is only for today. Although maybe not bad news if you're dressed like this, it's a little bit uh, sticky out there. but. For tomorrow, for Earth Day, you're going to need uh, this right here. Not so much for tonight. Temperatures dipping into the mid-50s. It's going to be a pretty calm night, pretty dry uh, for most of the evening. So if you're headed out, you're really not going to have to take one of these. But for tomorrow, you absolutely will have to. Showers will blanket the area on and off. Really nothing uh, too much in the way of thunderstorms until the afternoon. Those unseasonably warm temperatures are going to stick with us here in Syracuse for tomorrow. But then as we uh, head into Sunday, those seasonal temperatures We'll be back in the mid 50s clouds uh, coming our way for the week and that's what it's going to stay like for the foreseeable future. Katie, back over to you. Thank you, Ronnie. Coming up on News Live at 6, Barstool President Dave Portnoy is in Syracuse for the first ever Best Bar Town Pub Crawl. Our reporter Nicola Ponte has an exclusive interview. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Katie Fong-Bongsa. The news continues in an hour with Tegan Brown and Jake Morrell. Have a great weekend, Syracuse.